Alright folks, and welcome to 7th Season Studios. So, this week's tutorial comes to us from our Facebook group who asked, How can I achieve this particular effect in Affinity Designer? So, this is actually going to be a really easy one. This is going to involve a vector art with the use of the pencil tool and a lot of stabilizer. So, we might just throw in the color picker to show you guys how to do it. Now, let's go ahead and in your downloads, I've included a file that has the continent of Africa. So, let's go ahead and go to download. And there's the continent of Africa. So let's go ahead and blow that thing up big, large, and in charge. All right, just like that. Now, the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to trace this. So we're going to come down. We're going to grab our pencil tool, let's say. And I'm not going to be terribly precise about it. I'm just going to go ahead with my stabilizer on. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rough out the continent. I'm not going to go into every nook and cranny here. Feel free to do that if this is yours but I'm gonna to try to keep this tutorial to 10 minutes or less. All right, so we go through, and we're just tracing out the shape here. We're tracing out the shape, working it through. All right, I got pretty close. Let's go ahead and grab the node tool and move that thing over. Beautiful. Now, let's go ahead and throw a stroke on it. I'm going to go ahead and stroke this thing out, and that should just about do it. All right, now the continent of Africa, we don't need that anymore. Let's go ahead and make that non-existent. Looks pretty good. All right, so now let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab our reference. Now, I was unable to include this because it's not my copyrighted work, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place in the file that she sent me there to say, how do I do this image? Thought about doing the entire woman, and then I realized that we didn't have time for that. So, I'm going to show you how to do this effect. Now, with this effect, you see how where the shadow is on this side of her face? There's a lot of darker colors in her neck. And where the lights are, there's a lot of lighter colors. So, you're going to want to pay attention to the lighting if you're going to do this in an actual subject. I'm going to show you how to achieve this effect, and it's actually really simple. Alright, so we have our curve. We're going to rename it. We're going to call it Africa. Beautiful, just like that. All right. You know what? Let's do this. We're going to come over to the artboard tool. And I'm going to drag out another artboard here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this woman right inside the artboard. Beautiful. All right. So we got one artboard here that we're working with with Africa. Let's go ahead and drag that in. Now I got artboard one, artboard two. See how that works? That's the use for artboards. All right, so with my pencil tool selected, making sure I'm on Africa. Let's go ahead and make that artboard, title it Africa. Let's go ahead and draw some really crazy stuff. We, we're just going all over the board, right? We have no idea what we're doing. All right, perfect. Now, the color, come up to the color, make it zero, stroke. And now let's go ahead and choose a color. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with kind of an orange. Now, I just picked randomly orange, but if you wanted to use the colors, you could go to the color picker and you could pick any color that you wanted. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work with this orange. And now you see that this is all over the board. Watch this. In the artboard, drag the curve inside the Africa curve. Boom. All right, now let's go ahead and do this again. We're going to grab the pencil tool, and I'm going to start drawing all sorts of crazy stuff. All right, looks good, right? Looks like garbage. But now let's grab some purple, let's say. And because the curve is inside of the Africa shape, it will act as a clipping mask. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and do one more. Let's go ahead and whip this thing around. And now we're going to make this kind of a blue. All right, now here's what we do. We drag it inside. And I'm actually going to go ahead and drag it underneath the orange. Perfect. Now you see we got a little bit of this area here where the orange didn't quite cover. Come into your node tool. Click on your orange. And just pull the node out until it covers. That's really as tough as it is. Now let's do this again. Come over to the yellow. 
Work in the yellows. Perfect. You don't even have to join the path. This is so freeform. All right, looks good from here. Let's go ahead now and drag in one more set of blue. Now, I want to choose the same blue I had, so I'm going to come over to the color picker. Boom, just like that. And now, we're going to do one more. Come in, and I'm going to sweep around with my pencil tool. I don't even have to close the curve. And let's go ahead and use our color picker and come back to this color of orange. Awesome. So, we've got a pretty good start to this. Now we've got to get some of these deeper, darker veins in here. So let's go ahead and grab our tool. And let's go ahead and create some really weird shapes running through here. We're just going to go ahead and just make this really wonky. All right, that looks good. Okay, now you see that's outside of Africa. Let's bring it on top of the orange, but inside. All right, looks good. Now they've got some reds coming through. So let's go ahead now. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the outline color. Ooh, we don't want that. No, we don't want that. And on this shape, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to position kind of it above one layer but below another. All right, just like that. Now, you see how that is above one but below another? We're going to try to make this up a little bit. We're going to come up. Try to go up here, but I want this to be on top of the red. There we go. Now, that's looking pretty good. So you see how we're using the flow to kind of get some of this information? And now, if you wanted to make adjustments, let's say that I wanted this blue to be a little bit different. Watch this. I can adjust some of this blue here if I bring it on top of the orange. You see how nothing's happening? Watch this. Oops, wrong blue, right here. Bring it on top of the orange. Now, we can add some nodes. We can adjust the nodes. We can do all sorts of really crazy stuff on those nodes. So there's a lot of adjustment that can be made at this point on this particular piece. So it's kind of a fun pop culture project. I do want to keep this to about uh, the 10 minute mark. And so we're right about there. I'll do one more here just to kind of finish this up. And I'll do one that's kind of thin and skinny and kind of just wavy here. All right, looks good there. And let's pick kind of a, oh, I don't know. We could probably get by with a little bit more red on this one. Boom. Now, see how it's outside? What do you got to do with it? Drag it into Africa. All right. So that's a little bit about how you do it. And the whole key to the whole thing, create the shape, nest each one of these layers inside the shape in order to get to this particular area. All right. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on vector art, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any ideas for videos or things that are stumping you, go ahead and hit us up in the Q&A in the comments. We want to make valuable content every single week. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next one. I'm the Half of Seven Season Studios. Thank you so much for watching.